Hey guys, welcome back to Alcavita Woodworks. I'm Justin, and today we're going to be trying to make these tiny little baby rattles. This one I actually made using a bandsaw about a year ago before I had my CNC machine. So today the goal is to do everything using the CNC. Let's see if we can do it. So starting off to make the piece itself of the rattle, I'm going to use this one inch thick teak wood I got from Lowe's. To make the dowel, we'll use this 3 8 inch oak. And for the rattles, we will use maple. To get started, the first thing I need to do is cut my teak down to size so I can put it on the CNC. I'm cutting it into about a two foot length strip that's 4.75 inch tall. That should be able to get me four rattles out of this one piece of wood. And here I'm just sanding it up to 220 grit before I go into Carbide Create and start to design my file based around this particular piece of wood. Here's just a brief glance at what my plan is to do in Carbide Create. You can see I have room for four rattles across the whole workpiece. Once I'm in Carbide Create, I pull in my SVG files. These files are from nutlandworkshop.com. Timmy Collins runs that site and he posted these for free. I'll post a link in the description of this video and I definitely recommend that you go check his site out. It's pretty awesome. Once I have those files in, I pick the four shapes that I like the best and that was the turtle, the rabbit, the whale, and the elephant. I did end up manipulating the nodes a little bit just because I know that I'm going to be using a quarter inch down cut bit and some of those tight curves weren't going to fit that bit in real life. Once I have everything adjusted to the size I want, you can see me drawing these vertical lines through the animals. That's representing where the dowel will go. And then once I have everything in the place I want, I start measuring with squares to where the center of the dowel will be and just giving myself little notes within my drawing just so I know where I can drill my dowel holes in real life before I put that on the CNC machine. Once I have determined where the center of my animals are and where the dowels are going to go, I just head over to the actual piece and mark the locations for my drill. I was going to use my drill press, but as you can see, it is very old. Thomas Edison's name is on it, so that's telling you something. And it won't fit the piece of wood, it's just a little bit too tall for it. So I ended up using a drill, but as you can see, it worked out fine. Just burned up my bit a little bit, but oh well, it worked out in the end. It's worth noting here that these holes are not drilled all the way through that piece, so they need to be facing up when you put it on your CNC. Here you can see me applying double-sided tape and sticking it to my machine. You also might notice that on top of my normal green fence that I have on the CNC at all times, I put a piece of plywood, and that's just acting as a sacrificial fence. It helps me line everything up and keeps the piece away from my normal fence, so if the bit travels off, which it will, it won't cut into my normal fence. So here we go, let's watch the carve. Okay, so that worked pretty good. As you can see, the sacrificial fence was used because the bit traveled outside the workpiece, and that's just by design. I knew that was gonna happen, which is why the fence was there in the first place. It just allows me to use a little bit less wood. So this should pop right up, and it does. So I will peel these off, and then we will check back in once they're all removed from the table and all the tape. Okay, so I did some hand sanding to clean up the edges. They really weren't that bad. You can see some issues here, but I'm gonna use a round over bit to fix that anyway. I'm happy with how they came out, and I'm glad that I drilled the holes for the dowels first, because now as you can see, they go clean through, and I can just shove my dowel through, and it looks like I measured correctly on all of them, so I got lucky there. So round over the edges, cut my dowels down to size, and then we'll go back to the CNC to cut these small rattle circles, so yeah. Let's get to it. And for some reason, my camera wasn't working when I was rounding over the edges with my trim router. Uh, it wasn't that exciting. I just taped them down to the table with double-sided tape and used a trim router to round the edges. 
So here is just me sanding and I was cutting the dowels down to size. And now I need to cut my piece for the rattles and get back to the CNC. I'm not gonna bother showing you my process on Carbide Create for making 12 circles. This is just one and three eighth inch circles with half inch holes in the middle. And I made 12 of them so I could have three per each rattle. And here is the final result. As you can see, it's paper thin, so I can just pop these out and start sanding the crap out of them. This was really annoying because I had to use my orbital sander upside down and they kind of went flying sometimes and then I used some hand sanding but eventually I was able to get them all sanded down and nice and smooth. And here's the final result. Everything is nice and smooth and ready to be glued together. So here I'm just using some CA glue in the very bottom of the animal and that's just because it's going to hold it in place and I don't have to use any glue at the top that could cause spillage. So I put some glue in the bottom, put my dowel halfway through, put three rings on the dowel and hammered into place. On some of them, I did need to flush cut them, but overall, that's basically the last step in the process before applying some finish. And when it comes to finish for this project, I'm using food safe butcher block oil. And instead of dumping it into a bucket and just saturating them, I just put on some gloves and spent some time rubbing it into place, making sure it got in between all the rattles and all the tight spots in the eye holes. And yeah, then we're pretty much done. Here's the final result. A whale, a rabbit, an elephant, and a turtle. Thanks for watching guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe.